Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this Mac Tax. In our last video, we discussed how to prepare purchased and returned documents with stock management history. In this video, we are going to discuss how to prepare sales, refund and performa invoices. So, let's get started. And now again, I'm going to click on the add button. Okay. Add button. Here, these are the two documents comes under these expenses. Now I'm going to go to the second types of document, sales. Under sales, we have three types of document. First one we have sales. Second one we have refund. Starts with 220. 120 for stock return, 220 for refund. And the last one under this sales, we have 230 performa invoices. Okay, it's kind of a quotation. Okay, so we are going to discuss all of these three. Okay, the first one we have 200, we are going to make sales. Okay, and we'll click OK to get the sales document. Here you can see the number start with 200. Okay, and further, I'm going to sell this document to this suffering traders. And here we will click on the product code. Okay. I'm going to sell this headphone to this particular person and we'll click, we'll double click and going to sell three products, okay, three products to them. So we'll click OK. Okay, here we have the uh, selling price, selling price automatically that will be updated. If you want to refer further, you can visit my previous video and you will get more idea on importing and registering and updating all of the products data okay that's quite nice and here i'm going to add one more product 1169 we are going to sell this scanner i will double click here and now i'm going to sell two scanners okay we'll click ok and final total is 89570 and we'll click save button to save okay document successfully saved okay and as we have done earlier we'll go back to the stock and we'll click on the refresh button and we'll get the products 1031 and now we have only five and we'll right click and stock history and we'll click on the refresh and there we have the history first we purchase 10 quantity and in stock 10 and stock return we return two products and thereafter we had eight and now we uh, sales uh, three products and now we have only five okay we'll go back and we'll go back to the documents again okay now we know how to sales okay how to prepare the sales document okay and we'll come back and we'll click on the add button i'm going to close this document i don't want and we'll click on the add button again and the next item is refund okay next item is refund the refund start with 220 and we'll click OK to get the refund. Here you can see the number 220 and we'll select the suffering traders company and now I'm going to type the product quantity 1031 okay, headphone and we'll double click and we are going to refund for one item and customer return one product to our company. Okay, so we have to refund for one product. Okay, so they they return the customer return so it's kind of a refund okay so one product refund and we'll click ok okay and the final total one into 19474 is 19474 again i'm going to have another refund 1169 and we'll double click and here i'm going to uh, type they're going to return another one product from this scanner they are not satisfied so we'll click ok again and to register and some of these two product is 35048 okay so that's fine now refund complete and now we can click save button to save this document successfully and we'll close here and we'll go back to the stock and we'll click on the refresh button okay now we'll check both products uh, 
10 31 and here we have headphone we have all we have six quantity this time we'll right click and struck history and we'll click on the refresh button and there we have complete history purchase 10 products stock return 2 and we had 8 and after sales we had 5 and after refund we got 6 okay that's quite nice and we'll come back I'm going to enter another products 1169 we'll right click to get the context menu then we click on the stock history and we'll click refresh and there we have the history we purchased 15 and return 5 and thereafter we had 10 and we made sales for 2 and after that we had 8 and after refund we got 9 okay that's quite nice i will go back to the documents and we click add button to add one more document here we have the third one under the sales 230 Proforma invoice is kind of a quotation. We are going to give the quotation to the customers and if they okay, if they are satisfied with our quotations, then they will proceed to sales. Okay, it's kind of a quotation. So let's see how to prepare this Proforma invoice. Okay, as usual, you can come to the sales and you can click on the 230 Proforma and you can click on OK button. There we have 230. Okay, and I'm going to give the uh, quotation to the same company suffering traders and for those two products 1031 and headphone we have and double click and we'll get the dialog box here and I'm going to give them five products and with a five percentage discount this time so we'll click OK and again we are going to have another products 1169 scanner I uh, will double click uh, I'm going to have another five products to them with a 10 percentage discount this time to the scanner and we click OK and there we have the sum and we'll click save okay so uh, here we have five so it's kind of a quotations we are not updating to the stock okay so it's just a quotation we are going to send to the customers and if they satisfy then they will be able to proceed to the sales then only the stock will be updated now we are going to prepare we are preparing just the uh, quotation okay so that won't be updated in stock so we will save here document successfully saved we will close again so we'll go to the stock and we'll click on refresh and we'll type the 1031 we'll type the product code and we'll right click and click on the stock history uh, click refresh and there we have only purchase stock return sales and refund not performer performer is just a quotation and that performer invoice will not be affected in this stock so that's all i want to discuss in this video hope you all have enjoyed this video if you love this video hit the thumbs up button if you are new to this channel click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell then you will be get notified to my brand new videos. Thank you very much guys. We'll meet in the next video. Goodbye for now.